Hey Playgirls, Tim Reineke with Fireworks.show, and today we'll be walking through how to ensure that your MP3 file is the right format for your audio box uh, using some software called Audacity. All right, so this should be a pretty quick video. Um, I just want to go through how to make sure that your MP3 file is in the proper format. So when you load it into your audio box, uh, you don't have any issues. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll load up a bit of software called Audacity. You can use any audio editing software that you have, but I'm going to use Audacity mainly because it's free. So if you don't have it, you can go ahead and download it. I'll link that up in the description below. There's a lot of great YouTube videos out there um, if you need help installing it. So just go ahead and reference those if you need to. Um, so if you watched the uh, Pyra Musical training video, uh, we used Ghostbusters. So I'm going to go to File, Open. We'll open up that MP3 file. And the main bit that you're looking for, um, the main rate that you need here uh, is 44,100. If right here you see that, um, you're good to go. You won't need to change anything really about your audio file. If it is not, if it's like mine and it says 48,000 or 32,000, head down to the project rate in the lower left-hand corner. Click on that and set it to 44,100. That way, uh, when we re-export this MP3 file, it'll convert that over to the proper rate and the audio box will read it properly. Uh, another little bit of best practice is to include a few seconds of silence um, at the beginning of your video. That way, when you um, arm up your remote and you start your script, it gives the remote and the audio box, or box just a second to kind of sync up so you don't get any um, audio distortion or skipping or anything like that. Um, again, not mandatory, but just kind of a good idea. So to do that, I'm going to go to Transport, Skip to Start. That'll just ensure that our playhead is at the beginning of the audio track. And then I'm going to go to Generate, Silence. And you just simply need to key in here how many, ever, uh, how many seconds of silence you want. In this case, I'll just leave it at 5. We'll hit OK, and you'll notice that it moves everything out as we would expect. Then we simply need to export um, so that everything gets converted over properly. So I'll go to File, Export Audio. And there's a few uh, settings here that you need to be aware of. The first of which is the bitrate mode. This needs to be set to constant. Um, the quality, I would set this to 320 kilobits per second. It just ensures that the audio file is uh, the best quality that it can be. Um, if you're on 3.03 uh, firmware or higher, um, you can set it to 320. If you're below that, uh, you'll need to set it to 128 kilobits per second. I don't think a whole lot of you are on uh, a firmware version less than that, but just in case you are, um, you can be aware of it. Variable speed will be locked in at fast. You can't change that. And the channel mode needs to be joint stereo. Then you simply say uh, save. In this case, it already exists, so I'm going to go ahead and replace it. And then you can just say OK uh, through the next dialog prompt. That will uh, export back to your computer. And then we'll just confirm by going to File Open uh, and we'll reopen that file that everything has been converted over to that rate uh, that we would expect. Alrighty, so that about wraps this one up. If you like this type of content, please hit that like button and subscribe. It'll keep you informed to our future content that we release. And as always, thanks for watching.